What is up, people of YouTube? Oh man, it has been a long time since I've made a video. So since my last video, I've gotten married. Um, in the process of building a house and went on a family moon. There's something that I wanted to actually make a video about and review. This Popeye's just open and I really want to try one of those sandwiches that's supposed to be way better than Chick-fil-A. Let's see, is there anything new with my bike? I like this guy's license plate. Prius, in case you didn't know. Well, I got the uh, first 600 mile service done. It's a lot better after the service. I don't know, everything is more smooth. Maybe, it, maybe it's in my head, I don't know. I got the headlight grill. Oh, I can show you guys the license plate relocator that I got done. Uh, I bought it off of a fellow scrambler rider on eBay. Uh, I can link you guys his his uh, his product, but yeah, it's it's legit. It's good. And yes, it is 93 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It is hot. I mean, I guess I can talk about all the other stuff besides the the product review. So yeah, I got married. The ring fingers right here. I promise you, there's a ring underneath there. The wedding was great. Everything went accordingly to plan. Or if something did go wrong, our wedding planner didn't tell us about it, which is what we paid her for. Saw a lot of uh, friends and family, had people fly out from, you know, all the way from Australia and Vietnam to come to visit. That was pretty cool. I haven't seen my aunt since I left Vietnam when I was four. You probably could have imagined what that, uh, what that reaction was like when I picked her up from the airport. It was just really cool having all your friends and family and everyone you care about all in one place just to celebrate. So besides the wedding, what else have I been doing? We're in the process of building a house. We, we've we actually been working on it for quite some time now. Pretty exciting. The first house is gonna be a house that we've built from literally from the bottom up, choosing all the tiles, you know, all the different handles in the kitchen, different types of backsplash, everything. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's honestly <laughs> super tedious, but it is not as tedious as wedding planning. Oh my God, guys, I, I'm i so happy to be done with the wedding. And you guys might think that sounds messed up, but like both the wife and I were like, oh, thank God the wedding's over. We can finally start, you know, uh, finishing building our house. And then I'll have a new place to park this bike. You know, we have Asian parents, like, they, they literally want you to stick around forever. They don't want you to move out. Long story short. Guys, it's 96 degrees now. Holy crap. Woo! I still got the stock exhaust. Man, I love this color. This orange... It pops, look at it, it's just so nice. Woo, spread these legs, get some airflow. I feel the heat in my crotch. All right, this is the spot. I'm so glad I brought a water bottle because I'm freaking thirsty. This grass was all green. The last time I did a video here, now look at it. Probably a meth lab up there. Just did a quick little review video on the Krieger bags. You know, one of the have this already, but what if there's like some way to have an AC system or like some kind of fan or something inside these helmets? Do they have those? Did I just think of something? I don't know, it'd be perfect for days like this. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be the hottest day of the week. We don't get a lot of 90 something degree days here in Oregon. I don't know, do, do you guys ride all year long? Like winter, scorching hot summer days like this? 
Man, that bike just now that we just passed by, they just left their helmet on their bike like that. Unlocked and everything. People got too much trust. I can't I can't be doing that. I don't know how it is where you guys are from, but in Portland here, we have a pretty bad uh, homeless population. A certain uh, time of the night, you can see them start setting up shop. I mean, I understand they don't really have a place to go, but they're literally setting up shop in the worst possible places, like on these sidewalks. Oh, this car is slowing down now through there's a cop, huh? I see you, play. I see you. So one thing about Portland that I know people are, people are aware of is Portland's supposed to be the, I don't know, capital of food carts or something. Is that is that true? If it's not, you can let me know. But yeah, we, there's this uh, food cart place called Cartlandia. And I remember a couple years ago, there were probably, uh, I don't know, like 30 or 40 different like tents set up like near that um, food cart area and a lot of people were complaining about how it's, you know, um, bad for business, right? Because who wants to go eat at a place where there's just like crazy amount of bums and tents everywhere and it's just, and you know, like I don't care if they need a place to live, right? I don't mind that. It's when they pack up and leave, they just leave so much trash behind and the whole community has to, you know, do a cleanup for it. That's the that's the part that is that that bothers me. Catch up to that rider. We gotta stay together, y'all. Yeah, I haven't ran into any um brew motorcyclists here in Portland. Everybody's just willing to say hi and what's up. Everybody gives each other peace signs. See, there we go with the peace, man. People are too nice out here. This way is even more shadier. Well, shadier as in like away from the sun, not sketchy shady. That looks shady right there. There's always Portland police activity. Yeah, so this bike gets pretty warm at a standstill like this. You're probably asking me why am I not wearing shorts? Well, honestly, I think wearing shorts is worse because you feel the heat more, I swear. All right, so I'm gonna head home now. Gonna make some dinner with the wife. But I think before that, I think we're gonna hit the gym and work out. Oh, I didn't even mention, we went on our family moon. It wasn't a honeymoon. We called it a family moon because we went on vacation uh, two days after the wedding with her whole family. We went on a seven day cruise to Alaska. It was beautiful, it was nice, but I think I will stick to my usual Caribbean cruises. Um, I like the sun. I like the warm weather. But Alaska was beautiful. So we went on Ovation of the Seas, so a very big ship. So we couldn't really go through all the narrow passageways to see all the glaciers. Um, but the pro side to having a really big, being on a really big ship is you don't feel the, the waves as much. Because one of the nights it was super bad and I couldn't even imagine what it would feel like on a smaller ship. So, you know, there are trade-offs. You know, having a big ship like that with Royal Caribbean, we had you know, bumper cars, we had a rock walk, you know, there's an arcade room, you know, there's there's a lot more activities on board. You just can't go through all the narrow passageways and see all this crazy glaciers. But I guess, you know, it's, I don't know, it's a good thing. It's, it's you know, we don't gotta worry about icebergs and falling on a freaking Titanic number two. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Everybody's being so nice in this video. You guys are going to think that Portland's the place to be. That is the video for today. Uh, I took the bike out to do a product review on the Kriega Duo Bags. And then I figured it's, it's the weather is so nice, I was just going to just keep recording and... Yeah, just ride around town. So that's what we did. 
So thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the views, uh, the new subscribers, all the comments. I read every one of the comments. I try to respond to all of them. Yeah, I just I just like the I just like all the interaction with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.